Hi, in this quick surface tutorial, we will cover how to rotate an object. Here, we have a simple mesh. By default, if you want to rotate, you can use the middle mouse button and the right mouse button. When you rotate an object, you can see a small indicator, which is our pivot point. A pivot point is the place at which the model rotates. However, if you change what you are zoomed into, the pivot point changes. The way the pivot point is calculated is by finding the extents of the visible points and then calculating the center of these extents. In some cases, you may want to rotate around a certain point. To do this, hold Ctrl and the right button on your preferred object, like this. If you click somewhere outside of the object, the pivot point goes back to how it would be if you were to rotate normally. If you would like to, there is an option for the rotation to always have the selectable pivot point on. To do this, go to Settings, Options, Navigation, and change this to Always Pick. The other option is to have it on rotate around a point when you are zoomed in. However, I will use always pick for now. You can click OK. Now, regardless if you use the control key or not, you will always pivot around a selected point. Another method of rotation, which you may want to use when working with infrastructure or similar things, is to rotate around the world. For reference, we can turn on the coordinate system and use it as a placeholder for the ground. Now, if we go to Settings, Options, Navigation, and Change Rotation, to around world Z axis and click OK, we can see that the object will rotate parallel to the Z axis. If we compare them, you can see the difference more clearly. I hope this was useful. And thank you for watching.